Jeremiah chapter 46 The word of the Lord that came to the prophet Jeremiah concerning the nations, concerning Egypt, about the army of Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was by the river Euphrates at Carchemish, and which King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon defeated in the fourth year of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah. Prepare buckler and shield, and advance for battle. Harness the horses, mount the steeds, take your stations with your helmets, wet your lances, put on your coats of mail. Why do I see them terrified? They have fallen back. Their warriors are beaten down and have fled in haste. They do not look back. Terror is all around, says the Lord. The swift cannot flee away, nor can the warrior escape. In the north by the river Euphrates they have stumbled and fallen. Who is this, rising like the Nile, like rivers whose waters surge? Egypt rises like the Nile, like rivers whose waters surge. It said, Let me rise, let me cover the earth, let me destroy cities and their inhabitants. Advance, O horses, and dash madly, O chariots. Let the warriors go forth. Ethiopia and Put, who carry the shield, the Ludum, who draw the bow. That day is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of retribution, to gain vindication from his foes. The sword shall devour and be sated, and drink its fill of their blood. For the Lord God of hosts holds a sacrifice in the land of the north by the river Euphrates. Go up to Gilead and take balm, O virgin daughter Egypt. In vain you have used many medicines, there is no healing for you. The nations have heard of your shame, and the earth is full of your cry. For warrior has stumbled against warrior, both have fallen together. The word that the Lord spoke to the prophet Jeremiah about the coming of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon to attack the land of Egypt. Declare in Egypt, and proclaim in Migdol, Proclaim in Memphis and Taphanes, say, Take your stations and be ready, for the sword shall devour those around you. Why has Apis fled? Why did your bull not stand? Because the Lord thrust him down. Your multitude stumbled and fell, and one said to another, Come, let us go back to our own people and to the land of our birth, because of the destroying sword. Give Pharaoh, king of Egypt, the name Braggart, who missed his chance. As I live, says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, one is coming like Tabor among the mountains, and like Carmel by the sea. Pack your bags for exile, sheltered daughter of Egypt. For Memphis shall become a waste, a ruin without inhabitant. A beautiful heifer is Egypt. A gadfly from the north lights upon her. Even her mercenaries in her midst are like fatted calves. They too have turned and fled together. They did not stand. For the day of their calamity has come upon them, the time of their punishment. She makes a sound like a snake gliding away. For her enemies march in force and come against her with axes, like those who fell trees. They shall cut down her forest, says the Lord, though it is impenetrable, because they are more numerous than locusts. They are without number. Daughter Egypt shall be put to shame. She shall be handed over to a people from the north. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, said, See, I am bringing punishment upon Ammon of Thebes, and Pharaoh, and Egypt, and her gods and her kings upon Pharaoh and those who trust in him. I will hand them over to those who seek their life, to King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon and his officers. Afterward, Egypt shall be inhabited as in the days of old, says the Lord. But as for you, have no fear, my servant Jacob, and do not be dismayed, O Israel, for I am going to save you from far away and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease, and no one shall make him afraid. As for you, have no fear, my servant Jacob, 
says the Lord, for I am with you. I will make an end of all the nations among which I have banished you, but I will not make an end of you. I will chastise you in just measure, and I will by no means leave you unpunished. Jeremiah chapter 47 The word of the Lord that came to the prophet Jeremiah concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh attacked Gaza. Thus says the Lord, See, waters are rising out of the north and shall become an overflowing torrent. They shall overflow the land and all that fills it, the city and those who live in it. People shall cry out, and all the inhabitants of the land shall wail at the noise of the stamping of the hoofs of his stallions, at the clatter of his chariots, at the rumbling of their wheels. Parents do not turn back for children, so feeble are their hands. Because of the day that is coming to destroy all the Philistines, to cut off from Tyre and Sidon every helper that remains. For the Lord is destroying the Philistines, the remnant of the coastland of Kaphtor, Baldness has come upon Gaza. Ashkelon is silenced. O remnant of their power, how long will you gash yourselves? Ah, sword of the Lord, how long until you are quiet? Put yourself into your scabbard, rest and be still. How can it be quiet when the Lord has given it an order? Against Ashkelon and against the seashore, there he has appointed it. Jeremiah chapter 48, concerning Moab. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Alas, for Nebo, it is laid waste. Kiriathaim is put to shame, it is taken. The fortress is put to shame and broken down. The renown of Moab is no more. In Heshbon, they planned evil against her. Come, let us cut her off from being a nation. You also, O madmen, shall be brought to silence. The sword shall pursue you. Hark, a cry from Horonaim, desolation and great destruction. Moab is destroyed, her little ones cry out. For at the ascent of Luhith, they go up weeping bitterly. For at the descent of Horonaim, they have heard the distressing cry of anguish. Flee, save yourselves, be like a wild ass in the desert. Surely, because you trusted in your strongholds and your treasures, you also shall be taken. Chemosh shall go out into exile with his priests and his attendants. The destroyer shall come upon every town, and no town shall escape. The valley shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed, as the Lord has spoken. Set aside salt for Moab, for she will surely fall. Her towns shall become a desolation, with no inhabitant in them. Accursed is the one who is slack in doing the work of the Lord, and accursed is the one who keeps back the sword from bloodshed. Moab has been at ease from his youth, settled like wine on its dregs. He has not been emptied from vessel to vessel, nor has he gone into exile. Therefore his flavor has remained, and his aroma is unspoiled. Therefore, the time is surely coming, says the Lord, when I shall send to him decanters to decant him and empty his vessels and break his jars in pieces. Then Moab shall be ashamed of Chemosh, as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel, their confidence. How can you say we are heroes and mighty warriors? The destroyer of Moab and his towns has come up. And the choicest of his young men have gone down to slaughter, says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. The calamity of Moab is near at hand, and his doom approaches swiftly. Mourn over him, all you his neighbors, and all who know his name. Say, how the mighty scepter is broken, the glorious staff. Come down from glory and sit on the parched ground, enthroned daughter Dibon. For the destroyer of Moab has come up against you. He has destroyed your strongholds. Stand by the road and watch, you inhabitant of Aroer. Ask the man fleeing and the woman escaping. Say, what has happened? Moab is put to shame for it is broken down. Wail and cry. 
tell it by the Arnon, that Moab is laid waste. Judgment has come upon the tableland, upon Holon and Jaza, and Mephath and Dibon, and Nebo, and Beth Diblathame, and Kiriathame, and Beth Gamel, and Beth Meon, and Kirioth, and Basra, and all the towns of the land of Moab far and near. The horn of Moab is cut off, and his arm is broken, says the Lord. Make him drunk, because he magnified himself against the Lord. Let Moab wallow in his vomit. He too shall become a laughing stock. Israel was a laughing stock for you, though he was not caught among thieves. But whenever you spoke of him, you shook your head. Leave the towns and live on the rock, O inhabitants of Moab. Be like the dove that nests on the sides of the mouth of a gorge. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud of his loftiness, his pride, and his arrogance, and the haughtiness of his heart. I myself know his insolence, says the Lord. His boasts are false. His deeds are false. Therefore I wail for Moab. I cry out for all Moab. For the peoples of Kirhares I mourn. More than for Jazer I weep for you, O vine of Sibma. Your branches crossed over the sea, reached as far as Jazer. Upon your summer fruits and your vintage the destroyer has fallen. Gladness and joy have been taken away from the fruitful land of Moab. I have stopped the wine from the wine presses. No one treads them with shouts of joy. The shouting is not the shout of joy. Heshbon and Eliela cry out as far as Jahaz. They utter their voice from Zor to Horonaim and Eglath Shalashia. For even the waters of Nimrim have become desolate. And I will bring to an end in Moab, says the Lord, those who offer sacrifice at a high place and make offerings to their gods. Therefore my heart moans for Moab like a flute, and my heart moans like a flute for the people of Kirhears, for the riches they gained have perished. For every head is shaved and every beard cut off. On all the hands there are gashes, and on the loins sackcloth. On all the housetops of Moab and in the squares there is nothing but lamentation. For I have broken Moab like a vessel that no one wants, says the Lord. How it is broken, how they wail, how Moab has turned his back in shame. So Moab has become a derision and a horror to all his neighbors. For thus says the Lord, Look, he shall swoop down like an eagle and spread his wings against Moab. The towns shall be taken and the strongholds seized. The hearts of the warriors of Moab on that day shall be like the heart of a woman in labor. Moab shall be destroyed as a people because he magnified himself against the Lord. Terror, pit, and trap are before you, O inhabitants of Moab, says the Lord. Everyone who flees from the terror shall fall into the pit, and everyone who climbs out of the pit shall be caught in the trap. For I will bring these things upon Moab in the year of their punishment, says the Lord. In the shadow of Heshbon, fugitives stop exhausted. For a fire has gone out from Heshbon, a flame from the house of Sahan. It has destroyed the forehead of Moab, the scalp of the people of Tumult. Woe to you, O Moab! The people of Chemosh have perished, for your sons have been taken captive and your daughters into captivity. Yet I will restore the fortunes of Moab in the latter days, says the Lord. Thus far is the judgment on Moab.